Well, summertime means plenty of outdoor fun, but it's also mosquito season. Kenneth Craig has more on how to protect your family. Nobody likes mosquito bites, and that's why Aisha Ahmad uses insect repellent to protect her three children. We're fairly diligent, you know, if we are going to be out for a prolonged period of time. But avoiding those pesky mosquitoes can be tough. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends EPA-approved insect repellents containing DEET, picaridin, IR3535, oil of lemon eucalyptus, or 2-undecanone. Many of these mosquito repellents are safe to use in children and in pregnant women. Dr. Neha Vias of the Cleveland Clinic says mosquitoes can attack any time of day. So if you're going to be outdoors for a while, wear long sleeves, pants and socks, or clothes treated with the chemical permethrin. While most mosquito bites are just annoying, some can carry serious viruses like West Nile and Zika. So it's critical to be on the lookout for certain symptoms in the weeks after being bitten. Signs of mosquito-borne illness can include fever, joint pain, and headache. Dr. Via says you should see a doctor right away if you get sick after a bite, and she cautions to avoid scratching because it will only make the bite itch more. You don't know what kind of bacteria are residing under your nails, so if you scratch that area, you could potentially make, you could potentially cause an infection. To keep mosquitoes at bay from the start, make sure you clean any standing water in and around your home so they don't have a place to breathe. Kenneth Craig for CBS3 Eyewitness News.